Uh, hi students very good evening everyone and uh, finally gate 2025 results as expected on 19th march have been declared and uh, yeah this this particular talk is uh, you know about pujita she has secured rank 25 and uh, uh, i would say with a small preparation uh, she was here for a short term course and uh, uh, she managed to get uh, all india rank 25 and, uh, and she got yeah, 73 marks right pujita is, exactly 73 uh, you know, marks about Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, first of all, heartiest congratulation, and uh, yeah, we have got them, sir. Sir, over to you as well. How uh, you know other things going on? So, personally, I'm not just happy. I'm also quite relieved <laughs> because I was the one who called her to our uh, summer crash course, <laughs> and then she had to convince her parents. So, her dad uh, came here to see her off. so had it been i mean had the result been something entirely different <laughs> then you know i would be cast so in that sense i am really happy i mean no doubt uh, she has got that ability the only drawback about her is that uh, she is quite sloppy i mean she tends to make some really silly mistakes but she managed to overcome that uh, sloppiness and she got a very very good result i mean in fourth year with limited preparation mm. if you are getting 25th rank it is definitely quite an achievement and my heartiest uh, congratulations to her congrats pujita <laughs> sadhin chau ha huh? thank you sir all right so that that actually ah. is a very important aspect sir as you mentioned with final year because many students have that mindset only ki okay we will first complete engineering somehow and then we will think about other career options but uh, she has done it with uh, you know limited time preparation and also mm. as far as i know she has managed her college also well campus placements everything and uh, still got uh, you know one of the best ranks in gate so pujita now oh. over to you how exactly you are feeling at this particular moment <laughs> Hi all, this is Pujita Paidi, and I'm a fourth year student at UNIT Nagpur in Electronics and Communication Engineering Department. So, firstly, I would like to thank uh, Gautam Sir and Rakesh Sir because if not you people, I would not, uh, I would not been here with this uh, so-called rank. So, the main thing is you people have given me this that fundamentals because I know before uh, until my third year I didn't learn anything. I mean, my basics are really bad, but after. this um gate course apart from the rank um my fundamentals are uh, have been clear so i would like to thank entire home team uh, for this and yeah that's it so and also uh, sir she has done exceedingly well in communications ah uh, yeah correct. and special thanks to my sir because uh, if not you sir then maybe i have ended up with 200 rank so uh I'm really thankful to your uh, lectures. And, and this year, I think uh, the communication we had seen a very big, huge weightage also this year. Yeah, yeah, yes. Like fourteen so, marks are from communications only. So mainly, main thing is like uh, in the Om Institute, the best uh, vast uh, subjects teachers are really good. So yeah, people uh, can use it really well if they uh, uh, like follow daily these people's classes and all. Yeah, because exactly, if you need to cross these marks, like you know, sixty five, seventy, you need to get the command on most of the subjects. It will not happen by three or four or five subjects. So, uh, that is where I think that also helped you. You know, you got uh, the hold on most of the subjects. Uh, so, yes. Yeah. Sir. In anything better, you could have done, or you are satisfied with the result. Maybe, sir, if I have if I have been like done well in this uh, control and digital, right? So. maybe i would have get the good rank because i missed the control and digital questions so yeah but but i think yeah, every every student will have one or two weaknesses so generally starts with these subjects only right like control and digital ah, like whoever prepare for gate mainly they'll start with this control and digital so in my case it is entirely different so 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 as gautam sir mentioned that your your father personally came to you know take admission for you in hyderabad you stayed here especially for maybe we don't two months or so so after knowing your results your your joy is seen on your face what what is the status of your family your father and your entire family 
uh, they are now really happy with you and your performance actually not today sir after knowing my marks right uh, they are happy with that that thing mm-hmm. so now they are okay because uh-huh. they got to know before itself like yeah you are getting this so yeah they are very happy mm-hmm. like in fact from start onwards they are having more trust uh, on me than uh, like in fact gautam sir uh, always used to say i used to get i may get uh, between 50 to 55 but yeah for it is for me also it is surprise only because uh, in mock tests i used to get only 60 but now i got something around 73 right so yeah they are really happy okay okay so great so so what's your next step what's your next planning i mean with this rank you are you'll have all the opportunities you know that a student will desire so what you are looking for yeah i mean I, i'm interested in uh, joining mtech so yeah i'll apply for uh, colleges and then i'll join in mtech okay okay your dream college would be <laughs> i see oh cool uh, gautam sir any questions from your end <laughs> nothing much sir anyway we'll take a detailed interview affair yeah definitely one detailed so interview now, uh, yeah i would like, like to enjoy the moment <laughs> yeah i would like to say this to the students and audience as well that you know don't worry uh, we'll will this is more like a informal casual discussion we just thought of having with her because it is the heat of the moment and but yeah definitely within next 2 3 days you are going to get a very detailed video uh, you know especially very important for college going students especially those who are having that myth okay that uh, it cannot be done with college i i see it is most easy with college i see it reverse way i always feel with the college without much pressure you can do it and you can give your best performance only thing is you have to be honest and dedicated with your preparation nothing more okay so uh, you know like uh, just one question pujita like you just said na ki you were uh, you know in third year you also didn't know how good you are in concepts or whether you will be able to do it or not not you now you have seen the gate examination just answer one question to the student is gate really a very tough examination i mean why students want to delay after go- college why they cannot do it with college so what is your opinion after having uh, cleared the examination Actually, yeah, they should fix themselves like what they wanted to. Why they wanted to appear for gate, whether for M Tech or PSS or government job. So, apart from that, um, I mean, sir, uh, what is the question? Can you please repeat it again? <laughs> Means, sir, you know, uh, uh, is really gate a tough examination? I mean, if somebody starts from zero no, as well, not having much knowledge, hmm. it is not tough exam, but the syllabus is vast. So people may feel that uh, gate is tougher side, right? but no. compared to je advance je means gate is nothing but it is all like how we have been preparing and then how we are revising the concept so yeah the yeah, so students you know uh, actually in gate you, if you see majority i mean majority means 80 85% don't even qualify as well i don't know what's going wrong at that place but but if you if you take uh, you know the opinion or guidance of the students who have not qualified or who have got some 30 40 marks so maybe you will get that negative side of the examination so always you know students should also try to speak to a person who have actually cleared the examination with good rank then they will come to know the reality whether it is difficult or not or whether they can do it or not okay so that's what you and i believe it's it's not a rocket science even if somebody puts some some decent preparation 5 6 months one year depends on how much time you have but minimum if you're putting some decent effort for 4 5 months also you can get a best rank yes i mean uh, they don't have to uh, like people i i've seen people they're only uh, preparing uh, like completing the syllabus but they're not revising the concept so that is the thing where they are lagging it hmm. so. okay so uh, yeah anything gautam sir i i think pojita has not i mean it's not like pojita has worked really hard she has just put in some effort in a serious hey, manner sir i agree because uh, uh, i have partially done the pyqs uh, i already have told uh, this uh, thing but the thing is concept should be clear so in that yes. case you people have uh, given me the enough mm. base so i mean in my opinion gate preparation is not just about preparing for some exam called gate it is all about learning the subject building the fundamental base that is how i look at uh, gate preparation exactly exactly and that will help you not just for gate it will also help you in placements in your mtech course work and also in placements after mtech or towards the end of mtech i think she also got placed mm-hmm. in some core company why yeah. don't you 
share something about that. So yeah, I have placed in uh, Bajaj, Bajaj Auto. But the thing here is, whatever they have, uh, I um, like I have prepared for Gate. The exact questions have been asked in the interviews itself. So that I can observe. And in fact, my friend. Uh, her name is Koteshwari and she got placed in C2I semiconductors and it is for 22 LPA. So she's also an OM student. So only with this basics, this MOSFETs concepts and whatever Gautam sir have taught, the exact questions have been asked in her interview. In fact, she told the same thing to me. Hmm. So yeah, definitely learning something won't be wasted. So prepare for game. Yeah, that, that's yeah, it. That's what, I mean, the, the point is, it's not about me. It's, it's about the subject. If you learn the subject, it'll help you in multiple ways. Yeah. So if you learn the subject properly, you don't have to prepare separately for every interview. Right. I think, so, sir, rank uh, sense scores apart, but true gate preparation will make you an uh, engineer. I mean, will really make you an engineering student. Uh, Otherwise, uh, we are just managing the examination yeah. and we are crossing all semesters. Maybe we are getting uh, eight or nine CGPA also, but... But really, that knowledge part is lagging. So if you prepare That's what, it, honestly, hey, to to this to this gate preparation, if you can add some tool knowledge, for example, if you are interested in analog design, if you know how to use some spice tool, hmm. or if you are into digital design, you know how to use Verilog or VHDL and also some UEM, then you are ready for industry. Exactly. So you have the conceptual base, and also you have the uh, you know tool knowledge. Hmm. This is what industry requires. Industry doesn't require only tool knowledge. They, they also want you to be good with the concepts. Hmm. Only then you have that flexibility. So today you'll be working on one project. Hmm. And next year you'll be working on something altogether, which is new. Hmm. And to, to be flexible in terms of switching, you should be very strong in the basics. Exactly. And this gate preparation will greatly help. Right. In fact, the subjects also in the gate syllabus are so chosen that, uh, you know, the subjects which will be majorly used in your, you know, yeah. masters or in any of your future fields. Yeah. And also most of the courses that you, I mean, that people study in MTech are very much an extension of what you study in gate. Correct. Or in your BTech. Yes. So in that sense, uh, uh, she has not only secured a good rank, she has also created a strong base for herself. Mm. So, that, you know, she can excel in future uh, endeavors as well so for that i'm even more happy uh, that's great mm. so uh, uh, okay uh, pujita as we mentioned that we'll will soon have a very detailed interview regarding your entire journey okay but uh, yeah in this video one last point from your side what is the most important element of gate preparation i mean there are several things students will need to do concept test series revision etc 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 most important element your experience as for your experience concept should be clear rather than i don't say people to revive uh, sorry do this pyqs multiple times but at least if their uh, their concepts are clear and they, so we can if, if even though if we follow the notes problems right that is very much enough because like uh, i can say ohm ohm institutes notes says otherwise handouts that is very much enough mm -hmm. so okay people do pyqs but direct attack on pyqs also i don't uh, Directly they can solve directly, they can solve only direct questions. Any twisted question they will not solve. Directly, it's if you have to see the solution. If that is the case, if we do that direct attack, right? every time we have to see the solution. Exactly. Hmm. So that won't hmm. give the proper correct. So that is what uh, you know, students. I think the major uh, point uh, you know that she would like to specify is all about concepts, yeah, etc. More and more practice you do, of course, you will get some benefit, but without concept, nothing will help you a lot. So, basic building block is concept. Starting for gate, right? Start with vast subjects like EDC, communications, mm -hmm. analog, and networks. So if you clear with these subjects, anyways, many people are comfortable with this control, digital, and signals. Also, you should start with these five subjects, and later on you can do the remaining subjects. In fact, many students will do reverse. They will first focus on mm -hmm. digital control network, and when the when the end two to three months are there, na, especially that time, you can still study uh, you know digital or control or network, but that time, if you see EDC or communication, huge subjects left. So mostly people are inclined towards leaving that subject. And then if you leave core subjects, you cannot be ranker. Maybe you score some 40, 50 marks, but you cannot be in the top zone. Yes. Right. Okay. Thank you, Pujita, for, uh, you know, joining in the Zoom talk. Thank you. 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 Th
his transmission lines and uh, EM waves concepts yes. have really helped me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because for EC, again, EMF play, EMF also plays a big role. I mean, this year, by chance, it has less weightage, but generally that also plays a vital role, uh, electromagnetics. Because sir, in YouTube, we can find a lot many uh, resources, but uh, that uniqueness also there in this, uh, like, Hemansar's lecture. So, yeah. Because he completed that EMS in just 10 lectures and the waveguide concepts also in two lectures itself. So, yeah, people can really use it. Hmm. All right. So, once again, heartiest congratulations yeah, uh, from you, the entire team of Home Poojita and hope uh, you you might see yourself in your dream, I, uh, as you mentioned, IIC Bangalore. Okay. Congrats, Poojita. Congrats. Okay. Thank you, Poojita. Thank you, Gautam, sir. Enjoy. Yeah. Sir, I'm leaving the meet.